Alright, today I'd like to, you to meet my uh, channel Welk. Had him uh, about uh, six months maybe now. Uh, he's one of my more challenging things I've tried taking on from the uh, Thames River. He's, um, he's, a, our, he's a carnivore. He generally eats at night, but that lately hasn't been the case. But um, in the first few months, I tried feeding him snails from the river. It's the small ones. The, uh, I have to look up what they're called. I'll post it later in the comments. But uh, yeah, he was a uh, for sure a one big killing machine. He killed probably four or five a day. So it was starting to get very, very hard to... Uh, keep food in there for him. The other issue I have is when I try hand feed him, he's highly, highly skittish. Just me sticking my hand in the water is enough to scare him to the point where he might go just go bury himself in the sand. He might stay there for a couple days. You know, he likes to hide. He's very, very skittish. He doesn't like anything touching him. He's got two little antennas right there and a big tongue looking thing sticking out the end of his I'm not sure what he uses that for. He just uses that mainly for touch, I guess. You know, I think his top, his two little antennas are his main taste, you know, tongue. Um, he has a little feeding tube that comes out right, right behind the, uh, right underneath those uh, two antennas. It looks uh, a little bit redder. It's about the size of a pencil. What that's designed for is drilling into his prey or sucking their brains out, kind of something similar to uh, the movie uh, Starship Troopers with the big slug. But he um, he can actually secrete an acid out of the straw looking thing and he can actually drill a hole through a shell to kill a prey, to suck, to suck them right out of their own shell. He does that to clams. You know, other mussels, whatever else he eats in the area. Um, I had to put him in his own separate tank. This is my non-aggressive dash, you know, intro introduction, you know. This is where I put stuff I just freshly catch, catch to, you know, examine them, see what they, you know, how they do, see what they like to eat, see if I can get them to eat. You know, he doesn't really have many tank mates at the moment, which is a good thing, because when people touch him, like that shrimp, he gets a little scared. He's got uh, two friends in here. It's an oyster toadfish. Very good for a beginner fish because the water conditions really don't matter much to them. They're very, very strong. There's another one buried in the corner here in the sand, but you're not going to see him probably. He is there. Anyway. I'll make an attempt to try feeding him on camera by hand. This usually doesn't go very well, but lately he's been doing pretty good. Um, let's see if I can plop my camera now. To do it. The problem with this is it's hard. You know, I don't really recommend him to any kind of beginner, and if you do, you better have your own tank for him. All right. Right now I'm going to try to feed him oyster bay scallops. Oh crap, come on. You may actually be sleeping right now. Alright, he senses something's there. I also can't shut my filtration down to feed him because just the sound change alerts him and he might go bury himself in the sand. Yeah, he's looking a little sluggish. He might have been sleeping. Usually I try to feed him when he's at the very top of the glass. It's just easier. But apparently he's not going to play ball with me today.
Oh, well, he's checking me out. Sometimes the shrimp gets a little too interested and he gets in and starts touching and he doesn't like that. Hairy wrinkles on my hand. This is the other reason that I don't recommend beginners because he needs a lot of time and a lot of special attention. He's not playing ball. He's skittish today, apparently. Get lost, shrimp. Well, I stuck it to his head. Maybe he'll uh, come out once I get my hand out of the water. When he is actually hunting prey, he'll actually engulf it and I can just wrap right around it. He'll actually like close up on it like a glove and he'll just start suffocating it. Okay, his food tube is out. Alright. I'm gonna try his hand soaked. Alright. Alright, he is suckling on it, kind of like... Yeah. He's trying to drink the clam right through, like almost like a straw, so it's kind of difficult for him. Okay, you see it moving now? He's definitely interested, he's definitely eating. And you gotta do this like three times a day. So, this is why I don't recommend it. Alright, there's his little food tube finally coming out. Yum yum. Uh oh, I think the shrimp's gonna probably get interested in this and it's not gonna end well for him. Sorry about the shaky image. There it is. Patience is key, I guess, with him. I'm not positive he's in the best of health, but I'm trying at least. If you have any questions, feel free to post, be uh, post below. I'll probably answer back pretty decently quick. Um, so 
Uh, that's how you keep a giant whelk snail. Um, let me give you some scale on him. Um, Have an ibuprofen bottle. It's not the little one. I have an actually very, very big hand. So, if that gives him some scale. Oh, I was going to measure him. I don't have my dial caliper anywhere near me. Anyway, thanks for watching.